Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. Today I'll be showing you how to add e-commerce to your Wix website using the Wix Stores app. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step that we need to take is actually adding the app to the website. And we're gonna do that by going over here to add apps on the left side. And I'm going to be looking for the Wix Store app. And right over here, I found it, Wix Stores, and I click Add to Site. After I do that, it'll take some time to load up and add the different store-related pages to the website, whether it's product pages or the store itself. And here now we can see the examples already uh, coming up in the background. So this is our store page with all the products. And okay, temporarily not working. I'm not sure why, but it looks like it's okay uh, over here. And now if we go over to our um, dashboard and I just refresh the page over here, then you'll be able to see that we have uh, Wix stores um, added to our website. And you can see here, this section right over here is all related to our Wix store. So we have our store products, uh, we have orders, gift cards, subscriptions, loyalty program, etc. And here, if I go to store products, then I have all these example products uh, that were set up over here. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to just remove all of these example products. Okay. And now I'm going to show you how to add a new product to your store. So just click here, new product, and you can choose whether it's a digital product or a physical product. I'm going to use an example of a physical product. And let's call this um, product Fancy New Car. OK. And I'm going to add some images for my product uh, from some images that I've uploaded to my website. And you can add as many images as you want. And this larger image over here will be the main image or the first image that shows. and then you can add a ribbon. Let's say if I wanted to say uh, new, okay, new arrival or something like that, I can add a short description. Uh, this is the best car ever. And you can format this description using, let's say, uh, bold and underline and stuff like that. And if you want, you could also add these additional info sections. So let's say uh, more info. And here I'll write uh, this is more info about the car. And I'll be showing you on the product page itself how this all looks. Then uh, we can add the price. So I'm offering this car for the fair price of $100. And uh, then we can add different options. So I can add, for example, uh, color. And you have choices of how you want to list this. I'm going to just list it as a list. And I'm going to say, okay, white, black, and uh, blue. Okay, those are going to be the two, uh, the three colors that I offer a this car in. And I'm going to click add. And then I can uh, manage pricing for each variant. So I can, let's say, toggle this on. And I can say, okay, so the white car is actually uh, $20 more. So that will mean that it'll be a total of $120. And the black car is um, $50 more. I'll be $150, and the blue is the standard price of $100. And um, then you can also add stuff like subscriptions, but I'm really just showing you the most basic setup of the uh, Wix store. Here you have some more options on the side. For example, I can create a collection. So let's say uh, cars collection. And then if I have several cars on my website, then I can add different uh, kinds of cars all to the same collection and allow people to browse them uh, more conveniently. Um, I can add coupons. Um, and to do that, first I have to save my product. So I'm saving. And just notice that when you save the product, uh, this product will be live unless you hide the product from the online store or you go into the product itself and you toggle this off. So if you're still editing your product and you're not ready to display it yet, you should make sure this is toggled off before you save your product. 
Um, but I'm going to toggle it on because I do want this to display in the online store. And now I can set up a coupon. Sorry, I have to save again. So save and continue. And now I can create a coupon. So let's say I want to add a discount and I can add a dollar discount. I can add a percentage discount, shipping, uh, buy one, get one free, etc. So let's say I add a simple discount. So I'm going to say um, $10, okay? And the discount will be $10 off. And I'm going to apply it to a specific product, which is fancy new car. Uh, and there's several other uh, things that you could choose from here. I'm not going to go through every single one, but I just want to give you a general idea. And I can limit the total uses for this, of this coupon. So let's say I only want to let one person use the coupon. And then I create the coupon. And now I'll be able to use that uh, upon checkout. Um, you have some more advanced things here that I'm not going to be touching on in this video. But this should really be enough to demonstrate uh, how the basics of this e-commerce functionality works. And now I'm going to go back to our website. And I'm going to uh, refresh the editor, which, as you know, can take a minute or two. And you'll notice here that we might have some trouble uh, going through with the checkout because this is a free version of Wix. And I don't have payments set up here uh, because you need to upgrade to a paid plan to set up payments. Okay, and now let's take a look at the different uh, pages that we have for our Wix store. So if you go here on the side, you'll see all of over here are all of our store pages. So we have a product page. And here we should probably see the product that I just set up, which is fancy new car. And this is the standard product page layout. There's not much to play around with here. I will be making a video in the future to show you how to customize this page completely using Wix code and your own personal layout that you design. Um, and we also have, except for that, we have the shop page, which has all of the um, products in our shop, which is only one at the moment. We have the cart page, which just is the uh, where you can view your entire cart. And a thank you page for after checkout. And I'm going to show you this all on the live site in a minute. And you can see here on the upper right, we also have this nice little cart icon and a login bar that was added as well. So this login bar was added automatically when I added Wix shops. Uh, so as soon as you add Wix shops, it'll add membership to your website as well. And I just did some dragging to organize it and make sure it looks good on my website. So now that I have my product set up, I have my store set up, I can just click publish. And now I am going to go to my shop. So I'm going to my live website and I'm going to go to shop. I think it should be in the URL. And here we can see the shop. So here are all my products. You have a quick view, which will show you a basic overview of the product. And you can also uh, go into the product itself and see that full product page that I saw you show we saw before. Uh, you can select the colors that I provided in the setup. So we have black and blue, and you can see the price is changing based on what I select. We have different amounts of quantity. And OK, so I'm going to take the white one. I'm going to add that to my cart. And now here uh, you can see the cart pop up here. And now I want to check out. So I'm going to go to the view cart, and I'm going to enter the promo code. So $10, I think that's what we called it. And I'm going to apply the promo code. And I got $10 off. And then I just go to checkout. And as I mentioned before, this website cannot uh, accept online orders right now because you need to upgrade to a paid version of Wix to uh, set up payments. But when you are ready to do that, and after you uh, set do that, you will be able to uh, go to your dashboard and set up payments and allow people to check out from your store. So that's how to set up uh, Wix shops on your uh, website and basically add e-commerce functionality in under five minutes to your Wix website and start selling products online. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about the Wix store or about Wix in general, you can leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.